The Mississippi is a powerful river spanning more than 2,000 miles, but there's one stretch not far from the metro that's shallow and peaceful enough to attract canoeists and kayakers. It's a wide section between St. Cloud and Anoka that's been designated wild and scenic by the DNR. That means no one can put up buildings or cut down trees along the shoreline. Tonight, Mike Binkley shows us how that's allowed a war veteran to start a whole new life for his family as we go finding Minnesota. I'll be right back for more. With summer winding down, the need to get outdoors seems a little more pressing these days. This week, Mark Arrington of Maple Grove took an afternoon to kayak the Mississippi with his daughter and son. There's some stretches of the, the, you see nothing but trees and wilderness, and it's really pleasant. It's not like pedaling in the city. It's an unspoiled, slow-moving section of relatively clear water. And it's where Dan Meir and his family started their outfitting company five years ago. Right here, it's probably only about three, four feet deep, but you can definitely see to the bottom. It's a view that Meir appreciates probably more than most because of where he was 10 years ago, patrolling parts of Iraq with the National Guard. Definitely an eye opener to see the poverty and the things that go on in some other countries and really made me realize how good we have it here in the U.S. But then he returned from his deployment to a struggling economy and a stressful job in the printing industry. After coming back from Iraq, I really started reevaluating, uh, you know, what I was doing. Plus, the recession was in place. And that's how Clearwater's outfitting was born. A chance for the Mir family to get control in their lives. This back also adjusts here. And help others at the same time. We just want to send people out to relax and have a good time and get away from their normal, busy lives. We do this for the love of, of the outdoors. We've been very fortunate to find just a gorgeous stretch of river that we can share with people. They set up trips of anywhere from 8 to 13 miles on paddle boards, canoes and kayaks. One group, I think the biggest count of eagles was uh, 12 eagles in one trip. People see deer, all sorts of wildlife. He could have made more money sticking it out through the stresses of corporate life. Don't tip, Mom. But he has a new perspective on what's important. It's not money and it's not fame and all that stuff. It's all about people and just having fun in life. Mike says that section of the river is also great for fishing. And late next month, they'll host their first smallmouth bass fishing tournament. For more information or to send Mike another Finding Minnesota idea, just go to WCCO.com links.